to let's get the show on the road. He records for King Records, Ralph Stanley and all the Clinch Mountain Boys. Let's give him a round of applause. A wonderful fella and a wonderful musician. Let's change these around. Test, test. That's not on it. Oh, we just got one. Tell you who these fellows are on the stage as they come up to pick for you. Over here with the fiddle, I believe he's raring to go tonight and can't go for rare. <laughs> I know you're going to enjoy him though because he always makes himself welcome just about anywhere he goes. He does a fine job on the fiddle, I think. He's been with us now nearly five years. And in that time, he's recorded, uh, I guess, around six albums, helped us record six and three of his own. We call him the old Kentucky fox hunter, Curly Ray Klein. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> Thank you, Ralph. 
Back here on the base fiddle now is another fine fellow. He's spent a lot of his life in around this part of the country, around York and Baltimore and I don't know where all. He's a good singer though and good bass player, guitar, most anything you want him to do why like he's always willing and very able to. Comes from down in the southwestern part of Virginia. He's the ex-mayor of Norton, Virginia. Jack Cook, let's make him welcome. <laughs> guitar now. He's a mighty fine singer and a good guitar player. Comes from a state of Kentucky, around Jackson, Kentucky. And he's been with Ralph's show for almost two years now. So let's everybody get together and give Roy Lee Center a big hand. I 
While he's fixing that, I'm gonna let Jack come up and plug a festival that we have. Yeah, he did it. I'm gonna do it again. Well, you, you wanna do it again? Yeah, that don't make any difference. Okay, you come up and I'll kill a little time. You know, I ain't thinking much to say. I'm getting real forgetful. I shaved uh, maybe the day before yesterday. I cut myself and I forgot to bleed from a while ago. <laughs> Yeah, I got so forgetful I couldn't think of anything and I went to the doctor for it. I told him I couldn't remember anything. He said, how long have you been that way? I said, what way? <laughs> That's a good one, Ralph. That's a good... <laughs> that is a good name. We'd like to tell you people up in this section of the country that uh, Ralph Stanley is going to have a big bluegrass festival in memory of <laughs> Carter Stanley, his brother, who passed away in 1966, four years ago. And it's going to be down in southwest Virginia, around McClure, Virginia, it's close to Bristol. And we have some maps back here where I'll give you uh, directions how to get down there to it. It's in southwest Virginia. And uh, some of the stars that's going to be on there is going to be Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys, Don Reno and Red Smiling, Bill Harrell, the Country Gentlemen, and the uh, Goins Brothers, Carl Story and Ramon Mountaineers, and of course the Ralph's band uh, will be there. And uh, that's going to be May 28th and 29th and 30th, tomorrow weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And it's going to be on the home place where Carter and Ralph was yeah, he can raised up. And uh, Carter's buried down there. The, place will, the festival will be right close to where Carter's buried. So we'd let, like to invite all you people to come down and see us. Bring your campers. We're going to have plenty of camping space so you can stay in your campers, sleeping bags, or anything you want to bring. So don't forget that it's May 28th, 29th, and 30th. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And Curly's gonna have a little something extra down there. Curly, you wanna tell them about that real fast? Yeah, we're gonna turn loose a red fox. Huh? They might be some fox hunters in this crowd. Yeah. We're gonna turn loose a red fox after everything's over there around 12 o'clock on Friday night. 
so if anybody got any fault hands, I'd like to ring them down. I want to run down <coughs> again, so I want to get mine out run. Just to catch your fault, it's going to turn early. And if uh, Ralph says to catch your fault, it's going to turn me loose. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good race. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Curly. Now it's time to introduce the star of the show. This man has been around for quite a while. Uh, he's not started young, he's not too old, about 20 years, 25 years. He's been in this business, he's been in foreign countries, about seven foreign countries. Every state the art there in the Union, recorded for Columbia, Deca, King, Rebel. He's been on just about every record that you want to hear. So let's everybody get together and give Ralph Stanley a big hand. Thank you.
Well, can y'all hear this all right? It's loud enough. Hear it good in the back? Okay, fine. That was a man of constant sorrow and little maid. Here's a duet number now we'll do called Nobody's Love is Like Mine. <laughs> This uh, one of these good machines, you know, they got a machine down there around where you can go up, you know, to it, sit right on the sidewalk down there in North, Southwest Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> Stick your hand in your pocket, you know, and just pull out your quarter and just drop your quarter in a little slot there, you know, and pull a little lever out. Yeah. And out jumps your big old foot long hot dog with chili, onions, relish, and everything on it. A foot long. Foot long for one quarter, buddy. Oh, I bet you... That's a good name. I bet you stay around that machine a lot. Now. Yeah, I eat all there all the time. Yeah, I see you, Jack. <laughs> well, I bet you do. Boy, I wish you'd look at that. Yeah, I'll tell you that. I forgot to do it. That's better than you. You got to show him. I didn't get a laugh in You know, uh... We went out to uh, somewhere in a market out in uh, New Holland. We got in a little early. Jack was hungry and went some bologna. Yeah. We went out to a little store and they gave him something to eat. Yeah. And uh, I saw a real machine out in front of a store in New Holland. It's got your machine beat all beat. Well, that's got to be a pretty good now, mine beat now. Jack, I saw a machine out there that all you had to do is walk up to it. <coughs> You said reach in your pocket, get a dollar bill this time, and put it in a little slot and pull a lever, guess what? 
What? How jumped you a beautiful wife? I got your beat on. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Boy, that, I got is your beat on. <laughs> that is pretty good, Ralph. That's got mine beat, I believe. Yeah, no but you know, there's one more machine I like to see. What's that? I like to see a machine where you can go up and take your wife and <laughs> drop her in and pull a lever and get your dollar back. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Curly Ray, where's all the people going such a rush? I don't know, Ralph, but I believe Roy does. Oh, yeah. The They're going to the big <laughs> Say it again, sir. No. <laughs> Be my brother, get that again. I'm on the wrong mic. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Curly Ray, <coughs> can you tell me where all the people are going to get the work? I don't know, Ralph, but I'm being wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're going to the big fire in town. Well, they got some of the funniest things you've ever seen. Well, let's go to the fire. <laughs> Come on, boys, let's go to the fair. See the funny sights in the cool out there. Grasshopper kissing the old black crow. Rose red with the toes and toes. More funny things than you ever did see. The rainbow coons, the monkeys in the tree. Where's the cat coming in the tomcat's hair? Come on.
We recorded a long time ago, but we have re-recorded it, and it'll be out in a new album in about a week called Christ and the Cross. One morning in Jerusalem, about the break of dawn, a great trial was in session. They tried to bless the Lord. They scorned him and they mocked him. They made him carry the cross. Top of Calvary Mountain, they crucified my Lord. For the cry, he died from the cross. Forgive them, blessed Father, he died upon the cross. Oh, the cry, he was cried from the cross. The Son of God was dying to save the world from long.
You have wonderful banjo pickers, there's no doubt about it. But if you ever get a banjo picker that'll play Shout Little Lula any better than Ralph Stanley, I want to be around to hear him. Ralph, would you do that for us? Well, we was going to do another, but we'll do Shout Little Lula. I'll tell you what, uh, I want to play one that uh, I've just recorded. Be out on a single record. It's a little bit like Shout Little Lula. He'll be out on a single record in a week or two called Old Time Pickin'.
that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? Don't anybody go home. They're here for another show or two. So stick around. Want us make them welcome. King recording start. Ralph Stanley and all the Clinch Mountain boys. Let's make them play here at Barrowville. Try to do all of them that we can. A lot of the numbers we forgot or don't know. The last 25 years, I've helped record about around 600 songs and tunes, and I might remember 100 of them. I'd be lucky if I do one. <laughs> Here's Jack Cook to do a solo number that we had some requests for called John Henry. I 
Good job, Jack, John Henry. Uh, as I said on the first show, Jack served one term as mayor down in Norton, Virginia. And this last November, he ran again. Got beat. I think he got three votes this past election. We was driving down through Norton, Virginia the next day after the election to pick him up to go somewhere. And we saw Jack with a great big white hat on like Earl Younger got back there. Uh, walking down the street with uh, two pistols, one on each side. Boy, he was right back, really a strutting. We stopped and Curly hollered out the window and laughed a little bit and said, Jack, the election's over. I said, you got beat yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, just got three votes. Curly said, why are you wearing your guns then? He said, well, I'll tell you, anybody that don't have any more friends than I do needs three or four guns. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a trio number now we'll do called What About You? show to do what the lost train yeah you like to do it now yeah and i have a request to sing <laughs> oh, yeah i forgot that but i want you to come up and do that lost train first yeah, and then we'll uh, sing one i want you to really burn that thing up <laughs> right? the shovel train. the coal to it okay yeah
First time that he sung in public was down at the Insane Asylum in Marion, Virginia. <laughs> and over half of the people went crazy over him. <laughs> he decided he'd make a record in doing some singing, so he did. And he's got the album out now with a couple of songs in it. He'd like to do one of them for you right now. It's called uh, Walking in, Walk in My Sleep. <laughs> Gonna come that pretty girl, how you think I know? I don't know. Tell her by them pretty black curls, I hang down. Walking in my sleep, babe, walking in my sleep. Coming down that Dixie line, and walking in my sleep. If you see that gal of mine, tell her if you do. Before she goes to make her friend to roll up her dirty sleep. stealing chicken, but he said he's out to hen house feeding him. Yeah. Well, I don't know what he's doing. He's about anyway, a half and half. Anyway, he's got a big rooster in his arms. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, Lee, let's do stone walls and steel yeah. bars. Yeah. Long 
side of it is a solo number. We're going to try a little of it. We haven't uh, uh, run over it any for about two weeks now. I don't know how it sounds. We use twin fiddles on it, and uh, we actually need a, a mic for the yeah, fiddles to make it sound right, but we're going to give you a little sample of it anyway. It'll be out in any day now, along with the old time picking, and this one's called the Brand New Tennessee Waltz. Oh, Lord. 
some of the requests now we have. Little birdie, all right.
I'll do a lot of hard time. I have to do a lot of tuning for that, so I'm going to turn everything over to Roy Lee and uh, Curly Ray while I get in tune. Yeah. I don't. Okay, I don't work Curly. You tell me about the fiddle, Curly. Yeah, Curly. No, I can't tell. Do some. <laughs> do a waltz or something. Uh, Ross going to tune his five string banjo down. Do a little number called Hard Times. This number is uh, in the Hall of Fame. There's only two instrumentals that is in the Hall of Fame. That's the Foggy Mountain Breakdown and the uh, Hard Times the number. He's just getting ready to pick for you right now. Uh, keep talking. I'm not much of a talker. I'm a man of very few words. I just know a few words. <laughs> okay, I'll brag on you a little bit. I think uh, this number here, it's a, it's really a hard number to, to play. I pick a banjo a little bit, not much, but I never could learn this number. I've, I've said a many are trying to learn it. And uh, By the way, Ralph wrote this number too. I think it... Uh, it really takes something to write a number like this. And uh, if you've never heard the number, you know what I mean after you hear it. So here's Ralph Stanley with the Five Spring Banjo, one called Hard Times. <laughs> <laughs> just a little boy, 10 or 12 year old, from an old uh, timey fiddle player from Shounds, Tennessee. His name was uh, G.B. Grayson. They went by the name of Grayson and Whittier. And uh, most people play this tune different uh, now than what they did, but that's the only way I know it, and I think that's the way it goes. It's train 45. <laughs> Thank you. 
you know, every time you tune the banjo and that sawmill gear, you have to get it back in tune. So now here's Jack Cook to talk while I get back in tune. Man, really? Yes, sir. Well, you know what he can talk. He's the mayor of Norton. <laughs> Makes it do make a difference. Okay, Ralph, uh, we'll tell him about that festival again. Is that all right? We'd like to tell everybody once again that don't forget Ralph Stanley's uh, more festival for his brother. Southwest Virginia in McClure. Southwest Virginia near Bristol. We have some, uh, some pamphlets back there that's got maps on it and uh, tell you who all is going to be there. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, May 28th, 29th, and 30th in Southwest Virginia. Some of the people that's going to be there is going to be Bill Munn on the Bluegrass Boys, Don Reno on Red Smiley, Bill Harrell, and uh, Goins Brothers, Carl Story and the Rambler Mountaineers, Jim Eanes, and uh, Curly Ray Klein is going to be there. Yeah. And all of us. <laughs> and so don't forget that that's down on the home place. We have some maps that are Carter and Ralph's home place in southwest Virginia. So we'll be looking forward to seeing you down there. Thank you, Jack. We want to do a number now. This is one that I wrote and recorded it in uh, memory of Brother Carter Stanley that passed away in 1966, called The Hills of Home. <laughs> some of that album back there on sale. The title of it is Hills of Home. And be sure and go by and look at Curly Ray's Pretty Rooster and get that if you'd like to hear Curly do some fiddling and singing. We'll see you in about 10 or 15 minutes for some more show for you. Now we'd like to bring Big Earl Younger back out on the stage. Let's give Earl a nice hand, would you? Bring him out here. Oh, yeah. You, you satisfied with these boys doing a good job? Every time he comes up here, he wants to stay. If, if you keep treating him like this, he'll want to move up here.
Stop back, get your coat, look at the records, and uh, they are going to take a short intermission and they're coming back for another show. It'll be a little short or brief, whatever you want to call it, but uh, Ralph always likes to give you people your money's worth when he comes up here, and uh, I want to thank each and every one of you people that did come by tonight to support the show. Uh, Ralph will be working uh, many of the carnivals and festivals throughout the summer months. But uh, come September, October, would you people like to hear, have him back in this area? I don't know whether it'll be this far hall or not, but we'd like to have him back in the fall. Would you all support his show? Yeah! Bless your heart. We love you. Now, once again, the man that makes it possible for we, us to have these shows, Mr. Briars, Charlie. 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 Let's <laughs> make him welcome for the last go-round here at the Barry Bell Far Hall. Ralph Stanley. Oh! 
request tonight for a rank stranger and I forgot to forget it but we did record that in a long time ago I guess it's one of our most requested sacred songs rank stranger Working on a bill. 
Southwest Virginia the other day, our bus broke down on us in Culpeper, Virginia. It's down there now in the garage. We haven't had a new clutch put in it, and uh, we'd like to do our whole programs tonight for a gentleman from down around uh, Falls Church, Virginia, that uh, was kind enough to bring us up and take us on our trip. We got to go into New York City tomorrow, and he took off from work and everything just to bring us on our trip. He's with the Bluegrass Unlimited, and his name is uh, Walter. Uh, I told you I forget the Saunders. Whole Saunders, that's right. I know his name just as good as I do mine. Walter Saunders from Bluegrass Unlimited, and he was supposed to bring uh, some blanks along on the trip. So if anybody wanted to uh, sign up to for a uh, subscription for the Bluegrass Unlimited, they could. It is a real good magazine. Uh, it comes out once a month, and it tells where all of the bluegrass artists are appearing in person the year around. And this coming month, I believe, it'll, well, all summer, it'll be uh, telling about all of the bluegrass festivals. And uh, about anything that happens in the world of bluegrass, you can find it in the Bluegrass Unlimited. Now, Walters are sitting back there at the table where the albums are with the gray sweater with the black front to it. And if you was to want to sign up for the, the Bluegrass Unlimited, he might could uh, uh, take his pen and write down the address and so forth where you could uh, sign up for the Bluegrass Unlimited. If you like this type of music, it's really a worthwhile magazine to have. We'd like to do all of our program for Walter Saunders. Let's see now, what were some more requests? Uh, Ramblin' Letters. Ramblin letters. Ramblin' Letters? See, all keys in. I don't know what I guess we can do it. Ramblin' Letters. Hey, you got it? Ramblin' Letters. Hey, you got it? Hey, you got it? I guess. <laughs> Can't go, go. 
used to try saying. Oh, love letters. Let's see. Okay, that's D, isn't it, Curly? It's been so long, but we'll, we'll try it anyway. met a nicer audience. I really mean that, and we appreciate it, too. We all, it's always a pleasure to play to people like we have here tonight. We enjoy ourselves. Hate to quit playing, but sometimes we give out. Have to. Huh? You stay all night. <laughs> I'm afraid we couldn't stand it all night. <laughs> the Orange Blossom Special. <laughs> Yeah. 
but I didn't enjoy that last number at all. I always hate to pick that number. It seems like we get a request everywhere we go for it. And the curly always makes me sing it, you know. And that's hard again, see. I'm a little bit on the heavy side. I can't take too much of that. Too hot to sing. Yeah, <laughs> too hot to sing. I've had a wonderful time until uh, I see you again. I'll just say, may God bless each and every one of you. Good night. Now here's the old mayor. Fast on the draw, wasn't I? That's, that's where I had them two pistols on the side, see? <laughs> no, I'd like to say it's been a pleasure to be in uh, Pennsylvania again. I believe in it. Is this Pennsylvania? That's New York. Yeah, that's New York. Oh, is that New York? Yeah, that's in the United States. <laughs> no, it's really good to be up here with you people. You've been a nice audience. Thanks for buying the records. And don't forget that big bluegrass festival uh, Ralph's going to have down to the home place. We'd like to see a lot of you come down, and thanks a lot. And we'll see you next time around. Thank you, Jack. Jack, come on the stage a while ago, and I heard him whispering to Earl Younger and said, Boy, I fell in love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, heard that too. Yeah. I don't know where, but he said he had. Now, uh, back about three years ago, when Curly recorded his first album, we called him the Old Kentucky Fox Hunter. Now, since he's got the rooster, we're going to call him the West Virginia Chicken Killer. <laughs> You're pretty ready. Thief, yeah. <laughs> Thank you a whole lot, Ralph, and I'm sure enjoyed playing you nice people tonight. And uh, like Ralph said, it, I hate to change that old Kentucky name, you know, but I, I guess maybe I'll have to change that chit, that rooster. <laughs> so I hope we get back up this way real soon. I've enjoyed working you all. It's been a nice audience to work to, and I enjoyed playing to you and enjoyed your buying the albums. I just enjoyed everything. Goodbye and good luck. God bless all of us. <laughs> Speaking for all the Clinch Mountain boys and myself, we'll say good night and may God bless you. <laughs> at its best. Well, stand in the Clinch Mountain Board. Don't forget, take it easy on the way home. God be with us and we'll be with you in the next few weeks. And